Hey everybody, I'm Carol with Free Spirit Arts and I'm back. I'm back home and I'm um, glad to be back home. I'm catching up on some real quick videos before we dive into Edith Holden. Um, loose ends and things like that. One of the things I wanted to do for sure is I wanted to showcase a video showing you weeks ago, however long, I think it was weeks, I, uh, oh, I forgot to look up her channel. It's Jillian, uh, I gotta find it because I'm not gonna have a project to show you. You gotta go over and see this gal. Let me make sure I can tell you who it is. I will put it in the description box, but... Yeah, Jillian Norwood Designs dash Greenwood Girl Cards. So she does a Saturday morning make um, collab and everybody makes something and she's a card maker and you guys know I've kind of dabbled. I'm starting to think if I like it or not. Well, she did these Christmas tags Oh my God, I ran right over and tried to buy these. So these are from Lot V Digi Shop. Is that right? Do I have the right? I don't think I do. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, L-O-T-V is, stands for, this. that's where I got screwed up before. I've ordered from them before. I ordered some Digis and I didn't know what their name stood for. So it's L-O-T-V Digi Shop. And the L-O-T-V stands for Lily of the Valley. That was so hard for me to get into my head. So it's Lot V Digi Shop. L-O-T-V Digi Shop, okay. You guys, I'm in love. So these stamps weren't out yet. Talk about customer service. I went to Etsy. I found them. I clicked the link on Jillian's page. I went to Etsy and I sent them a message and they said no, they weren't they weren't out yet and they weren't going to be out for a couple weeks. So I got on a list and oh, I'm so glad I did. Look at these. When you see what Jillian was able to do with these, you're going to run right over there. I'm not even kidding, guys. These are so sweet. And the neat thing is, it's a whole sheet. Like, these are hearts. You could use them for anything. wouldn't have to be Christmas, it says. Heart party. You're invited. Um, five... P cream cheese. I don't know what that is. Life is sweet, yummy, cookie. So these go kind of with the other stamps I'm going to show you, which are recipe card tags. Happy birthday, candy, sugar and spice. So let me tell you how much that was. That was the best part. A lot of the things that Jillian has shown, I go over to buy it, and I'm sorry, but I am not spending $39.95, $29.95 for a little stamp. I, I, I just cannot see that at all. Mm. Can't find it. I'm not sure where the hearts were. Well, it doesn't matter because all of these are 2162. They're gonna sell out. They sell out every year according to her. So go. It's 
stop the video right now and go shop. Look at these snowflakes. Oh, what she did with them. They're so intricate. I love them. I can't wait to play. This makes it so exciting. I feel like I really got bang for my buck. You know? This is what really sparked my interest. These tiny little tags. Now, I had already bought... You can buy the digital. You don't have to buy the stamps. Um... And I had already done that. But when I saw that they were coming out, I thought, I, I'm going to use these over and over again. And, you know, you can do the whole sheet. You could black the whole sheet or brown or whatever and stamp the whole sheet and then color them and then cut them out, you know, sometime when you're watching TV. Happy Christmas, Across the Miles, Christmas Hugs, Twinkle Sparkle, Festive Cheer, Dear Santa, Glad Tidings, Peace on Earth, Oh Christmas Tree, Woolly Mittens. I just, these cute little tags just got me. Am I crazy? I don't know. I just think they're adorable. Wait till you see what she did with these. Oh my gosh, she's so talented. They, She made them look vintage and she used some gingham and, oh, y'all, it was just adorable. You gotta go see her stuff. I'm going to put the links below. Um, so these are the recipe tags. Uh, my dog is scratching at the door. Let me text my husband and tell him she wants something. And when Jaja wants something... We jump, let's just say that. And I really like that they're in these envelopes. I didn't realize they were stamped on that side. Yeah, Lily of the Valley, L-I-L-I -L -I of the Valley. Cute, huh? So cute. These are just sentiment, square sentiments for making cards. Have yourself a Merry Christmas. It was the night before Christmas. Tis the season. Oh, Christmas tree. These, oh my gosh. Can you see them? Let's see if I can get them again. Something you can see. Half of them are going to be upside down. You see them? Stockings, envelopes, elves, snowflakes, wreaths, bows, candles. Just little, you know, put them on a tag with a little ring. They're adorable. Not sure why these got to me, but they sure did. And they're all 2160, what did I say? 62. Yeah, I shopped, guys. I bought a lot. I bought all the stamps he had. I mean, I bought every design that he had. Hot cocoa, Christmas calories don't count. Have a cup of cheer. These are going to be so fun. Christmas sentiments, happy greetings, bright snow, festive winter, cozy, warm. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, you can use these. These are um, definitions. So they look like this. Love them. The customer service was fabulous, y'all. I 
I've dealt with them before when I bought the digis. I, I couldn't figure out how to print them all off. They were huge. And I text them a long time later, way after the sale. Like, well, I don't know. I, I think it was months after. And they just jumped right in and helped me. Just jumped right in. Yeah. That's when you really, you know, really know you have something. Okay, I, I have to catch up with you guys. This was waiting for me when I got home. I took one of the frames that I got on a D stash. It might have been Shannon from Mixed Media Minnesota. And I took one of the cards that was in this kit. Glued it inside one of the frames and then I took glossy accents and covered the frame. And then I couldn't do anything with it because it had to sit. So I had to go to the cabin anyway, so that worked out great. As much as I love this, I'm going to cover the butterfly. And I'm going to put it right here. It needs dimension. So that's what I'm going to do. But before I do that, I'm going to add some things to this. And we're going to doll it up a little bit. I want to finish this. I've got most of the things for this book put away and I can't I can't finish it until hmm, I don't know if I like that until I do the cover. Not our best trip to the cabin. My husband is a workhorse. He's used to construction work and he was able to work on um, getting our water filled up and he did some pest control and he did all kinds of stuff. Weed reduction. I sat inside miserable. And it just finally became like, why? I don't want to. I don't want to. I want to go home. So we decided to go home. Some trips are like that. Okay. And I just unloaded my travel, my art travel bag thing and sat down. I really don't know if I have all my stuff. <laughs> I know I have everything I took with me, so I'm hoping that I have my stuff. Try a little brush corduroy. that. We're going to make this one just 
slightly smaller. I have been keeping up on the videos, I think. Dahlia, I haven't seen one lately from you, but I, I love what you're doing with this project, with the Edith Holden thing. And I can't believe I missed your G stash. And right now I'm actually watching a video where you gave away those magazines with the, well, I'm assuming you did. I have the volume down and I, I just read the title. It said giveaway. Now that would have been a giveaway. I would have loved to have won. I'm not very lucky. Oh, guys. When Doug packed up the truck, we were trying to figure out how to pack more efficiently. And I said, what, what was I thinking? I said, well, when you put my art back in there, just turn it sideways. Well, duh. All my glue is all over. My fault, not his. Yeah, so I'm hoping the glue actually pours. I'm leaving the tails on these envelopes because I might make them so they un undo and then put, you know, so they roll out and put... Uh, Oh, I like the gesso on there. Um, maybe write, you know, put script on it or something. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Well, that was a happy accident. We've had our cabin for, I think we figured 16 years, and I don't think it's ever been that hot. I normally don't go up in the heat of the summer. Um, I love fall, uh, especially, but... Um, even when I have gone up, I, I just don't remember it ever being that hot. It, it was just miserable. Now, do I need one medium? I think maybe I do. Just like maybe that size. Let's, let's, let's see what that maybe I don't want that. Maybe I want this. Ooh, that's pretty. We are holding our breath because we may, we had a contractor come last week. Looked it over, looked over our little project. It's not a big project. And um, supposed to get back with us with a bid. I don't know. I'm starting to get a little I don't know discouraged I'm not sure let's see hmm let's put the difference if you stack these like I normally do in a Kind of a tri-fold thing. You can't have them all open. Just the bottom one. So we have to kind of decide which one's going to be the bottom. 
Let's cut that off. Now yeah, they're supposed to get back with us, but we haven't heard anything and it's been a week. I imagine, you know, we just had Labor Day, so I imagine they probably went went to play. Okay. Let's let's see what I want to do. I don't think it's going to be able to unfold, so let's just glue it down. thought about putting it on the back, like, like here, something like, Let's judge them up a little bit. Much better. Okay, I believe that. If we do that, it would go something like this. I'm okay with that. This has to be somehow smoothed off so we don't have that sharp edge. Where's my... Okay, let's just say that we're going to go with that. Then for the front, we're going to, this will be our front door. And then No, no, no. 
which reminds me that's the other thing I need to tie up loose ends. By memory, it seems like Christina won the number seven, but I have to go back on the video and look. And is it, who was it? Was it Shannon that won the, um, what's his name? Petri, Petri? It says, nope, nope, nope. Was it Shannon? See, I have to go look. I was thinking of something like that. Mm. It may be just too much. Ooh, this matches the back. Oh, that might be just right. And I wanted to see if I could somehow implement a couple butterflies. Yeah. Oh, I think that's perfect. And I'll put some lace under that. Yep, yep, yep. So what I think how I'll do this to expedite things is this goes with this and I can do that in a minute while this dries. So where is my matte medium? That's just so don't use it, Carol. Get it from myself. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's put something down. It's 
it's going to go in layers. Ooh, that doesn't start out looking very good. Let's see if we can fix it. I don't know. Might be ruined. I believe it is. Might have to use Mod Podge. Has anybody tried ever putting this in the microwave? I bet that's dangerous. And that's why my videos are not for children. Goes to show you, though, after this stuff dries. I mean, this is just like rubber. Yeah, I don't think it's going to work. I think that's a goner. Yeah, even if it's not, I don't want to play with it right now, so we're moving on. Good old Mod Podge, where are you? Probably ought to do something with that. We have the state fair here. Oh no, it, it's done. Yesterday was the last day. Um, and it's a big deal around here. Uh, the state fair is in Blackfoot, Idaho. And um, it's a good fair. It's um, The food, of course, is fabulous. And lots of animals. And rides. And quilting and cooking and canning and I'm deliberately not going to smooth this out. I'm going to leave it kind of chunky because I want the texture to be part of the design. When that gets to where I can mess with it, I'm going to distress stain the top here. But until then, I'll have to just keep training it as it pops up. Yeah, so about the contractor, I got halfway done and then got sidetracked. I don't know if he'll be our contractor or not. Another guy, don't remember how we got a hold of him or what, how that happened, but he's coming over tomorrow and says he can start right away. So, I don't know. First come, first serve, I guess. In our area, the contractors have just been swamped. Busy, 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 busy. So, I mean, a lot of times they don't even return your phone call. They don't have to. 
they're so swamped they've got business for days you know months and months and months so I think they forgot what it's like to be hungry and now interest rates have gone up and house sales have gone down just slightly it's not quite quite so competitive And I suspect here this winter we'll probably get a call from all the guys we tried to get, all the companies we tried to get hold of earlier. And I kind of feel bad, but what do you do? We really want our job done. I love that. Can you see that it's just kind of, yeah, I love that. Okay, what are we going to do with you, Steve? You stay there, buddy. Oh, it feels so good to be back in my room. I can't wait to get this done so I can do Edith Holden. It's funny because, you know, the little video that I did about my idea of doing the altered book, I was kind of conflicted about whether to use that old diary or not because it's small and I'm not sure the pages are all going to be suitable for altering. I don't know, I just saw some problems. I'm, I don't know if my idea is going to work. Well, I've been just itching to get on it and really disappointed that I wasn't able to dive in like I wanted to while I was at the cabin. I was really upset about that. But um, I'm going to set it right there. But when I got it all unpacked and everything, to do this video, this catch-up video, I looked at it and went, oh my gosh, you know what? I think it's going to be perfect, but it's going to be different. I don't think it's going to be a traditional what you might expect type journal. Which is great. Started watching a new series on Netflix. I have the hardest time finding something decent to watch. I really like the documentaries. Um, but this is not a documentary. It's called... A cult in Ohio. So far, it's okay. It's not super scary. It's a series. I like that that bumps up just a little bit. That's okay. I 
and I like that this is open. See it? And that's and let's make it so it'll last. Okay. Yeah. Totally believe that. I just thought of something. Hold on, guys. I have these. Okay, I can see already those are too big. Wouldn't they be cute on there? Let's see if we can make them fit. And because it's something other than plain paper, I'm just going to use Fabri-Tac. My twist job did not hold. Okay, I don't have any clue how antenna I go. Mm -hmm. That's not right. What am I doing here? Maybe like that? Yeah, okay.
Hmm. It seems a little naked. I might have to do something like that. I think it needs to dry. I think it needs to think about itself. Let's do another one. Okay, one more hand. <laughs> Come here, you little bugger. I wanted so bad to just wait on this. Don't be needed with holding, but I'm like, oh, you've got to get, you have to get this done. Can't leave it half done. Okay, let's see. See if I got it even close. Okay. Hmm. I do like the idea of it being on here. I'm gonna hold it up to the cover and see. So we can get an actual idea. It's either got to be on that or off. It can't be leaning. I don't think. We're going to go with it. We're going to put this on here. I may go back and put some glossy accents on this just to see if I can get it to go hard. I've never used resin, but if you are a resin aficionado, this would be a great place, I think. Yeah, that looks great. Okay. I believe that. Robin, I saw your cover. Oh my gosh. Love it. Love it. And I am going to forward it on. Dahlia, I don't have your email. I thought I did. But I don't. Can you email me, girl? Um, L-I-T-T-L-E-C-A-R-Y-L-6-5 at hotmail.com. Send me an email so I can communicate with you 
And thanks to everybody for changing the hashtags. Once we started using that hashtag, I like that. I, uh, I put in our hashtag and just us came up, which was great, except then one time I put in Edith Holden and there was like 50 videos and I thought, well, we need to change our hashtag. You know, so people looking for Edith Holden, so they're all kind of together. Anyway, I think it's working. Sorry it was so clunky in the beginning. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, I gotta leave it alone, let it dry. And I do think I'm gonna put this right here. I like it being part of covering that up, blending them together, not covering them up, making it a little more smooth. I wonder if I want a little piece of lace on there. I had one here. Let's see. I think that'll work right. I did have some thread around here. Do I want that under there? Maybe. Come here, you little bugger. Oh yeah, I like that. That's nice. It's not thread, but I like it just the same. So I need more fabric tack on him. Love this. I need something to hold it down, but I don't want to smash it.
I think it will have some texture. Some places have soaked in, but other places are still kind of elevated a little bit, so I like that. think we dare put this on. Hmm. I like that. I just thought of something. This is kind of sunken in. I wonder if I need to put something like behind there to bind it, you know? I need to decide that really fast. <laughs> like I should have already decided that. What are you doing, Carol? You should have already decided that. I have this. And it would definitely work. That silk, and I don't want to deal with that, so let's put that away. Maybe I need foam, um, what are the, foam, what are those called? Foam squares? Foam, foam? doesn't really have to show oh but it's nice that it does so let's use that let's do it okay so hurry 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 Well, that was a lot of to do about nothing. It's all hidden. Oh, I love it.
nice. Oh, I love that. What do you guys think? It'll still be smooth in the hand. Lots of dimension. Still subtle, not not too gaudy. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. I think it still has some little things to be tucked down, and we have to do the back. I don't know if I dare do the back right this second, though. I think it needs to dry. Yeah. Love the way the Mod Podge wrinkled this up. Makes it feel like canvas. That's nice. And we're going to put Shannon's sister's Duda on here, and how am I going to do that? Because it's kind of a bookmark. Maybe I need to put it as a bookmark. Well, no, 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 no. Okay, this is what I was going to put on there. There we go. So this is going to go here. Like that it's not purple but it's beautiful oh thank you Shannon I can't remember your sister's your sister's name is it Julie Susie, help me out. Tell her I said thank you if she doesn't see this. And why hasn't she subscribed to my channel? Yeah, so there's that. Two. <laughs> Tell her, get over here, girl. I wonder if there's a way I can put that there. Like, use the... Hmm, okay. I'm going to mess this up if I keep trying to hurry. I really didn't want this to be two videos. I wanted this to be the flip through, but I can show you this is what this book is going to look like. Oh, I love it. It is amazing how these books just evolve, you know? It, it's just amazing. Okay, so why don't I have a closure? What? What? So I'm going to put a post right here. So I guess I am. I will get this totally buttoned down done. And then when I'm doing my Edith Holden video, I will just real quick flip through this. Because I can see a couple other things I needed to do. I have to make an envelope for the CD, or I mean, a, some writing space for the CD holder. I have to Mod Podge the back. I need to put this beadwork on. I might want to put a couple tabs on, and I need to put the post on. She's almost done. Want to see it? Look how flat it lays. I love that. So that is going to be my altered file folder with the kit from Mixed Media Minnesota. Shannon, I would have never bought this paper from Minte, but because you put together such a great kit, I couldn't resist, and I'm really happy I didn't try because this has been a ball. Really a lot of fun. I wish I could have bought this month's kit. I really liked it, but maybe next time. I'm really trying to slow my buying down, guys. 
It's tough. And I know you guys understand. I know you do. Okay. So I'm going to end this video. I'm going to re-gear. I'm going to clean up. And um, I really am going to get to either cold and No matter what, it's happening. Sure do appreciate all you guys. Thanks for all the well wishes. I am feeling better. I can breathe better. Um, still not a lot of energy. I don't have near the stamina I normally do. And I don't have near the stamina that I should, or that I need, I guess I should say. Um, to video like I normally do. So I appreciate your patience and I, uh, I miss it. I miss it. I miss being able to get up here and, and do that because it's so much fun. So I appreciate all you guys. Thanks a lot. Let's all take care of each other. Bye.